Okay, we're back. I was asked to come back if I figured out how to get the binary patching to work on this specific crack. I figured it out. Uh, there is a bug issue that has been opened in Git, so I don't know what is going to be done from the perspective of the development of Ghidra. Uh, I would suspect that once the source uh, is out in the open, that this would probably be something that is somewhat top priority uh, for those developers. Having said that, uh, let's go ahead and get back into the project we were working on yesterday. So we were working on the pretty damn easy nut by nut crack uh, project here. Here is the crack me. Uh, it's in the folder by itself now. I'll go ahead and run it, input the password, test, wrong password, try another. So we are right where we left off yesterday. I am going to remove that specific binary from the project and I'm going to add another. It's actually it again. And when you go to select the import, it's going to give you this screen. It's automatically populated. The thing to pay attention here is the language x86 little indian 64 default gcc. We are going to change this drop down to raw binary. And then we have to filter for the language that it's in. If you remember, I said it's x86 little indian gcc size 64. That guy right there. Click OK. Click OK and it's going to import the file. Now, it is not going to look like what you remember whenever you import it the other way. Uh, the analysis on it is far less clean. Far less clean. Uh, the decompiler, it doesn't look as nice. So, uh, I don't know exactly uh, what is going on, uh, the difference between the two, but I do know that they are different. So we're going to try to find the method that has this. I'm just going to do a string search for wrong password. So you just click in here, hit S, change that to string, and we're going to go to wrong password. Search all. And we have found it right there at that location. Double click it. It's going to take the code. You may have seen that flip back there. Close all of this out. Okay, so we have found where correct password and wrong password are. And we need to find the reference to this to see what is calling this. Ah, the mouse over. So I double click that reference. Okay, here's where the input the password is. Let's go up to that method up in the function. And let's look at the tree. Okay, we are right back where we saw before. Here's the test. Here's the jump not zero. Here is the correct password and is the wrong password. I changed this from jump not zero to jump zero. So let's double click that so that the code aligns up back here and control shift G gold rated greatness on this one. Okay. We're going to change this to jump zero and there we go. I'm going to leave that exactly the same hit enter there and we are done. So let's go ahead and output this file. Now hit O change this to binary. This is the folder that it was already in, but if you remember, we did crack underscore bin. I like to keep it consistent so we know that that's the binary. Select the output, click OK, and OK. There we are. Let's go back to our terminal. Let's see what's in there. We see the crack underscore bin dot bin. We have to chmod plus x that file. OK. It is green. We can now run it crack underscore bin dot bin, run it, and we no longer get the segmentation fault. We get the input the password prompt, okay? Try that with test, and boom, we are at the correct password. 
I don't know how effective this is going to be when you get into massive, massive binaries. This was such a small test and it was somewhat painful even on this small of a test. It's way more painful than Ida. But anyway, figured that out. Thought I would post this video. Thank you everybody for your support. I appreciate the suggestions and the feedback. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, have a good one.